in the industry uh, is, is a major accomplishment. And so, you know, anytime I can uh, enter into a radio station, I don't take it for granted, man, oh, because there's so many artists out here that uh, would love to have the opportunity to even come do radio shows, um, morning shows such as you, yourselves. And, uh, you know, I, I, I just don't take it lightly, man. I, yeah. I really, really embrace every moment, man, because it's a part of the journey. And I, I really think that's part of the lost art. I think it's a lot of artists that don't even want to do interviews and stuff. No it's weird. And I, I just don't understand that, man. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm so proud that um, when we came into the industry, we came when it was really like working a record. Like, we went to every backyard barbecue. We went to every hole in the wall. But then we went to the stadiums and the arenas. Mm. Um, big shout out to Puffy, man, for really, really instilling in us. You mean love. On. Yeah. You mean love. He changed his name to love. He changed his name again. He always Puffy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, said, you didn't even go to Diddy. You got to that nah, Puffy. Puffy. Yeah, I can't. He's too much, man. So right. I, I just, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody, that's 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 the that's the uh, nationwide, internationally known name. Mama name is Sean. Right. I'm gonna call him Sean. So listen, right. give us the update. It's 112 together. We saw there's a duo. Like, what is the group situation right so now? So right now, we are in a a, a moment of just kind of like doing our own thing. Uh, okay. Mike and Slim, they continue to tour as 112, and they have brought in some other members. Um, Duran and myself, we are just kind of doing our own thing. We have some, you know, some stuff that group members go through. And uh, it gives me an opportunity to really, really uh, expound on a lot of the things that I've been wanting to do for so, so long. Um, acting, television, writing, directing, uh, executive producing. And so, uh, you know, we're just in like a holding zone right now. Right. Uh, so, but what's... But, but the, fl the, the plane will land. The plane will land and, you know, all things always come back. Because everyone likes the group. So, like... Prime example, B2K is on tour right now. I think right. we just saw Raz B say he's leaving a group. He's not gonna continue the tour. What do the what do the bands go through? Like why why is it so hard to keep the four guys together? So when when okay, so first of all, you have four different personalities that has to always coexist and always have to agree. And it's 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 one thing when you are 16. 15, still trying to figure out. We now, in unison, have an idea of what we want to do and how we want to do it. But then as you get older, different priorities set in. Guys may get married, start having children. Different priorities set in. So now the your priorities individually shift a little bit. And uh, it's, just, it's just the growing things of all groups. If you go through the history of the entertainment industry, every group, male, female, it does not matter. As you continue, as the years continue to accumulate, you have to really, 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 really be so in tune and so in sync to make sure that you do not um, endure some of the pitfalls that are always going to be in front of um, groups. That's crazy, and, though. But how are they going to replace you with two other new guys? And that's, that's what I wanted to, that's what I wanted to uh, ask you. Because, I mean, we've seen that happen over history, like the Temptations. Right. They uh -huh. had their issues. And they brought in different members. What, but I, that's what I want to know. Like, how does that make you feel? Like, it's cool that if Mike and Slim go out, they are 112. Mm -hmm. But when they bring two other people in, like, yeah. you know, well, how does that make you feel? Like, because me, I, I would feel a certain type of way. Like, I get it if y'all want to go out. Mm -hmm. But what's Don't this add-on? Yeah, what's the add-on? See, right. man, let me tell you something, man. When, you oper when you're operating in purpose and peace, you know, regardless of anybody's actions, man, it does not uh, determine what your actions are. And so, uh, when you talk about that, I got love for Slim and Mike. Those right. are my brothers, man. Like they, they helped me fulfill a dream of mine. And so I understand that um, there are things that they have to do to keep things moving in their household, keep things moving in their lives. And so if that means them having to go and ask some members, then hey, continue to keep the 112 name rocking until we get it. Together. I don't like that. No, I don't like that. First of all, I like Slim, but he ain't Slim no more. Let's call him medium. First of all, you're not going to talk about my brother right next that's to me. That's not a diss. I'm just being reality. You're not going to talk about my brother right we, next we got, to me. We got to be reality with it. But I don't like that. You can't either just go, don't like solo with those two, but you can't bring somebody else yeah. in the beginning. And then how do you, if who decides that you have the right to do that versus you saying, you know what, I'm going to go grab two The new guy, guys. dark skin. Go pull it up. <laughs> but that's it. But that's it. I want like, What see. if you goes and grabs three guys and say, we want 12? You say you want 12. Well, but you, you know, know what I mean? The, the beauty of that, man, is we all have ownership. Okay. And so if you, me, Kendra, want to go out, as 112, we can do it. Ah! That's live. We're going out. Let's go. 113. You ready? Yes. Let me bring something else to you, bro. It's going to be 235. The weight's going to go up a little bit. You met 
mentioned uh, Puffy a little while ago, uh -huh. and you came out with 112 under yeah. Bad Boy during the days, of course, with Big. You know what I mean? We just uh, celebrated the anniversary. Sky's the Limit, one of the dopest songs I've Man, heard. listen, man. man. So when you hear um, a Biggie song, or, you know, we just celebrate the anniversary of Big's life with the, you know, the memory of his day not too long ago. Yeah, like, March 9th. Yeah, what comes to mind when you think about Big, man? First of all, it's not a bad thing I'm going to say about the Notorious B.I.G. Yeah. And fun-loving, regardless of what you've heard, he was always the jokester, man, always like the ultimate big brother. And I take pride in the fact that uh, we had a close relationship with, with B.I. Yeah. I remember times as, as starving artists early in our careers, he would come to the studio and make sure we had food. You yeah. know, he would, you know, give us $100 each. Uh, he would make sure that uh, we had co uh, Cokes because, you know, in 96, New York had that terrible blizzard. Yeah. And so being from the South, we had little coats, but we didn't have, like, the parking jackets and big <laughs> <laughs> triple bag <laughs> triple <laughs> down, right? right. <laughs> we didn't have those, and, man, he would always come in and be like, yo. And sometimes, man, he would get Puff off of us. Like, Puff would be so hard, like, man, get it right, da 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 And Big would say stuff like, hey, man, you signed these boys because they were dope, right? He'd be like, yeah. He's like, well, let them do what they do. Yeah. Like, so, nothing but love, man, for B.I., man. That's um, what's up. Okay. Remember love for B.I., man, and then the whole bad boy thing. You know, I'm also proud that when you tell the story of hip-hop and R&B, it makes me feel so great that I'm always, me and my group will always be connected to yeah. the story of R&B and hip-hop because of the dominance that bad boy had from 94 to 2004. So those mm -hmm. 10 years, bad boy pretty much ran the, the industry. And 112 was right there, smack in the middle, man. So when they tell the story at all these museums and stuff, 112 is all we, we're connected to history, man. And that's 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 dope for legacy. Absolutely. I'm doing a lot of talking. Can we get a little singing? Can you sing my song? Ain't nobody gonna do that. Tell me the... who's gonna look at you and love you for the person you are. Tell me who's gonna understand that sometimes you can take things too, too far. far. Tell me Don't. who's gonna be there when times, times are good, good and when good. they are bad. Tell, tell me who's gonna, gonna love you, girl, the way I love you. If you're sexy and you know it, <laughs> love your way. Q from one twelve in the building. Yes. Make sure you catch him at City Winery doing this thing, man. You got a show for the people, right? Yes, man. This Thursday night, City Winery, Chicago. I'm so excited. Um, the the theme is tribute to the '90s number ones. And so imagine all of your favorite R&B songs that were number ones from 1990 yeah. to 99. Woo! Okay. I brought on Wingo from Jagged Edge with me. Algebra Blissett is, is in town. Um, my, my guy, JK. And then I tapped into you guys' own market, man, in Opal Staples, um, Isa, Dante Hall, Kentrell. Uh, Kentrell, oh, Kentrell and, and Dante. Yeah. There's some bad brothers, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So listen. City Winery Chicago, go to citywinery.com right now, get the tickets, there are still a few left. This is going to be a concert, I'm telling you. All your ladies out here, you're going to come looking all pretty, but you will sweat your hair out. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's not a song that is going to be played that's not going to take you back to... Uh, a moment in your in your life. Okay. I I remember it. that night they Absolutely. got pregnant. Absolutely. Remember all of that. I'm about to get out the. I'm about to get out the doghouse. Babe, where we going? We going to just come on. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago. Yeah. Go yeah. right no now. Doubt. Yes. True from one twelve in the building, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank y'all for opening your doors for me. Of course, always.